the magical power of Control S. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for AskLeo.com. So have you ever noticed when you're watching TV and there's computer geeks or some computer professional on screen, you can almost always tell exactly how fake they are because they're typing. Sometimes it's as bad as just waving fingers over the keyboard. Sometimes it's just obvious that they're not typing anything. They're just making it up. They never ever hit the backspace key, never. And they never ever save their work. Now contrast that with real users, real geeks, real computer professionals. It might not be touch typing. I know mine certainly is, but it's absolutely very real. They're correcting errors constantly. And I have to admit backspace by far is the most used key on my keyboard. I'm not really a very good typist. I never learned touch typing or anything like that. I can get pretty fast, but that also means that I can do corrections pretty fast. And they're also periodically typing the key sequence control S. So what's so special about control S? Well, here's the deal. Anyone that's used computers for any length of time has had this happen. You're typing along, doing whatever it is you're doing, creating awesome content, writing blog posts, writing a document, writing a wonderful email, whatever. And all of a sudden, poof, it's all gone. The computer has crashed. The application has crashed. The window is closed. Something happened and all of the work that you had just been doing has disappeared. Poof. Have that happen enough times and you start to develop some interesting habits. One of which is to periodically, randomly, frequently save your work to disk. Now exactly how you do that varies a lot depending on the application you're using, but in a lot of applications, it's the key sequence control S in many windows applications. That's a shortcut for hitting the file menu and the save option. And all that does is it saves what you're working on to disk so that if you crash, if something happens, then the work is still there on disk, ready for you to reload it. Now I know that a lot of applications have crash recovery and that's great. I've seen it do some awesome, awesome things, but it's not something that to be honest, an experienced user really wants to rely on completely. And of course, it's just not in all applications. In fact, there are applications that don't really even have control S. Uh, composing an email in a web browser, for example, if you're using something like Gmail or, or Outlook.com. Yes, they will save what you're working on to a drafts folder periodically, but it's not the same. If your browser crashes at the wrong time, then the email you're composing goes away. I go so far as to actually compose anything major offline in, a, in another window, in another application that's actually a file on my disk. I used to use a text editor. You could use Notepad and periodically hit save so that no matter what happens, that email you're composing never is lost. When you're done composing it, then of course you select all, copy, paste it into your email program or into your email web application and off you go. So watch your local geek sometime. Notice how he or she types, but also notice how often they're saving their work as they go along. It's like type, 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 control S. Type, 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 control S. Type, 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 control S. You get the idea. Depending on how recently and how severely they've been burned by this kind of data loss, they could be hitting control S very, very often. That's a person with experience. It's often hard won and painful experience, but it's experience nonetheless. They've learned from that and they're protecting themselves. And unfortunately, this experience apparently doesn't transfer or doesn't translate to interesting television or movies because once again, those folks behind their computers, fake typing never ever seem to make a mistake. So what lessons have you learned?
from your experiences using your technology over, the, over recent years. What habits have you developed that help protect you from the major crashes or minor annoyances that you've perhaps experienced over time? Let me know. As always, if you're watching this anywhere but on askleo.com, here's the URL. Go visit this link. Uh, that's where you'll find this video with comments enabled. They're moderated. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what kinds of things you've developed over time that protects you from the kinds of things that can happen when you're using your computer. Take care. I will see you again next week. Hey, if you're watching this anywhere but on askleo.com, head out there and leave a comment on the video. Well, do let me know what you think. Askleo.com is where all the action is. If you're not subscribed to my weekly newsletter, now's a great time. Each week I send out the latest answers and other interesting news and commentary to something approaching 60,000 people just like you. AskLeoBooks.com has my latest selection of books on topics ranging from backing up to internet safety and more. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com.